All right, so get this, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, you know Jennifer, yeah. are filing for divorce. Mm -hmm. But here's the kicker. Okay. Affleck is out here praising Lopez's acting chops mm. amidst all this, you know, breakup drama. Yeah. And they're both promoting their new film, Unstoppable. Wow. It's like, are they masters at turning heartbreak into headlines or is there something more going on here? Right. That's what we're diving into today, figuring out yeah. the Benefer 2.0 saga as their new movie hits theaters. Okay. Oh, and by the way, Unstoppable is based on a true story. Interesting. Anthony Robles. Okay. A wrestler born with one leg who becomes a national champion. Wow, talk about overcoming obstacles. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you have to remember their reunion was huge. Oh yeah. After the, nearly two decades apart. It was like a fairy tale comeback. Exactly. Everyone was captivated by that Benefer nostalgia. Totally. But then this divorce filing. Yeah, right before their first film together since reuniting. Weeks before the premiere, no less. It's like throwing a wrench into the whole fairy tale narrative. It really makes you question, is this publicity or are they genuinely hitting another rough patch? Right. And to make it even more intriguing, she files for divorce on their second wedding anniversary. The symbolism is hard to ignore. And then there's the Toronto Film Festival. Oh, yeah. Lopez promoting Unstoppable with Matt Damon. Affleck's best bud and co-producer. While Affleck's in L.A. It's like a whole other layer of drama. Well, the plot thickens, you know. It's definitely keeping everyone guessing about where they truly stand. For sure. And then you have Affleck's comments about Lopez. Oh, yeah. He doesn't just say, oh, she did a good job. Right. He calls her performance spectacular. Wow, spectacular. And he even talks about the whole cast forming this deep emotional connection to the story, mm -hmm. given everything going on. Yeah. Their history, the divorce, the timing of it all. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to read into those words, wouldn't you say? Well, on the surface, you could brush it off. As just, you know, being professional. Exactly, especially with their history. But considering the timing of the divorce mm. and how much everyone is obsessed with their relationship. Right. It's easy to see it as something more. A hidden message. Maybe. Or a calculated move to drum up publicity. Keeps people talking about mm -hmm. them, which keeps the movie in the spotlight. It's that ambiguity that makes it all so captivating. Exactly. It's like. Are they trying to reignite that Benefer spark mm -hmm. to boost the film's success? Especially with Unstoppable being such a powerful story. Right. This added personal drama almost turns it into a meta-narrative, like it's playing out in real time. Definitely adds another dim dimension to it. Totally agree. It creates this fascinating interplay between mm. their personal lives and the themes of the film itself. Oh, absolutely. Unstoppable is all about re resilience, defying expectations, right. achieving the impossible. It's interesting to think about how those themes might be hitting home for both Affleck and Lopez right now. As they navigate this very public breakup and their individual careers. Yeah, it's definitely something to think about. A lot to unpack there. For sure. And you know, the timing of it all, it's yeah. like they're orchestrating a perfectly timed publicity stunt. Right. The divorce filing, weeks before the premiere, Mm. It's almost too perfect. Yeah. It keeps their names in the headlines, generates buzz. Mm -hmm. You couldn't buy this kind of publicity. But what's interesting is that Lopez's recent statements don't exactly scream publicity stunt. Oh, how so? She's been really vocal about, you know, self-love and independence. Right. Saying things like, being in a relationship doesn't define me. And what if I'm just free? Interesting. It feels like a genuine personal evolution, mm -hmm. which just happens to coincide with this very public breakup and the film release. Well, her statements really reflect a larger shift, especially among women, Yeah. where prioritizing personal fulfillment and happiness, mm. it's not seen as selfish anymore. It's yeah. empowering. Bro. It challenges that traditional idea that a woman's identity is tied to her relationship status. Exactly. Lopez's words resonate because they tap into this evolving understanding of self-worth. Mm. It makes you wonder if her role in Unstoppable, playing a mother who fiercely supports her son's dreams, right. it might also reflect this theme of unwavering belief in oneself. It's like she's embodying the film's message, mm -hmm. resilience, defying expectations, Yeah. both on and off screen. Adds another layer to it all. For sure. Speaking of layers, we can't forget about the elephant in the room. Oh, yeah. The media frenzy. Right. Every move they make, every word they say, it's analyzed and dissected. Totally. It's got to be tough navigating that constant scrutiny. Especially during a divorce. Such a personal and vulnerable experience. And you know, Affleck 
reportedly felt blindsided by Lopez's candidness about their relationship in interviews. Oh, really? Yeah, he apparently thinks she's going to talk about the breakup forever. Highlights the challenges of maintaining privacy when you're in the public eye. Absolutely, especially during a public divorce. It's a whole other level of scrutiny. Their situation really exemplifies how celebrity culture often commodifies personal lives. Hmm. It's like their relationship isn't just theirs anymore. Right it's on. entertainment, a narrative for public consumption. Right. Raises questions about the ethical boundaries of our fascination with celebrity lives. For sure. And the toll it takes on those in the spotlight. It's like they're constantly walking a tightrope, mm -hmm. trying to stay relevant yep. and promote their work. Yeah. While also, you know, keeping some parts of their lives private. It's a delicate balance. Especially with a film like Unstoppable, right. which, by the way, premieres December 6th. Mark your calendars, folks. The line between their personal lives in this film? Yeah. It's practically non-existent. It's interesting how Unstoppable almost becomes this reflection of their own journeys. Right. You have the story about Anthony Robles, yeah. a real-life wrestler born with one leg who defies all odds. Yeah. Becomes a champion. It's incredibly inspiring. And the film really emphasizes resilience, determination. Overcoming adversity. Exactly. And it's like, those themes are playing out for both Lopez and Affleck. Mm -hmm. But in the public eye. In real time. It makes you think about the weight of those roles. Yeah. Lopez playing this strong, supportive mother. Fighting for her son's dreams. While also advocating for her own independence and self-worth. Powerful imagery. And then there's Affleck. Who's had his own share of struggles and comebacks. Now promoting a film about conquering obstacles. It's hard not to see the parallels. Absolutely. And that's what makes this more than just a typical Hollywood publicity run. Right. Some multi-layered narrative. Blurs the lines between their art and their reality. It makes the audience question. Are they just really good at using their personal lives to get attention? Or are they genuinely evolving? And is that evolution reflected in their choice of project? It's a question that'll probably stick with us. Even after we leave the theater. It leaves us pondering the complexities of their lives. The pressures of fame. And that constant push and pull between public image and personal truth. So as we wrap up our deep dive into Benefer 2.0 and Unstoppable. We're left with more questions than answers. But maybe that's the point. It encourages us to look beyond the surface. Consider different perspectives. And recognize that everyone, even celebrities. Is navigating their own unique journey. Their story, in a lot of ways, reflects the human experience. It's about love, ambition, resilience, and that search for fulfillment. It reminds us that life is messy, unpredictable. Rarely fits into neat boxes. So thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of Benefer and their new film, Unstoppable. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring. And keep seeking out those fascinating insights that make life a little bit more interesting.